Como estas amigos? Welcome to another edition of Tips, Tricks, and Tool Techniques. I'm your host, Mr. Sanchez, and on behalf of windowcleaningresource.com, sit back and relax and prepare to learn. Hey, what's going on, everyone? This is Mr. Sanchez, and on behalf of windowcleaningresource.com, uh, today we're going to be talking about screen removal. Uh, some tips on that. Um, you're pretty much just going to find screens on residentials. Uh, you're not really going to find much screens on commercial accounts. There are uh, some commercial accounts that do have screens, but for the most part, you are going to be running into uh, screens with residential homes uh, and that's such. So the tool that I'm going to be using today is uh, a simple paint opener. This is what I carry around with me. I have a couple of these. Uh, in the vehicle just in case I lose one. Uh, they're very inexpensive. You can pick them up at Ace, uh, Sherman Williams, Home Depot, Lowe's. Uh, they're very cheap. I don't even, uh, I, I found these actually laying around. I've had these forever. Um, but I actually used to use a little pocket knife, a dull pocket knife, to pry um, the screens out uh, until that kept on giving me problems. And as you can see, I think this is probably one of the best uh, screen uh, prying applicators because it, it's as you can see right there it just has this little groove that can take this screen you, you put it in there and you just apply a little pressure down and it will just pop out so this is a really good tool I would definitely uh, suggest trying this out um, and I also want to talk about the two most common screens that you're going to encounter uh, the first being uh, just your average regular screen um, which is opened on the outside meaning uh, more than likely you see these little tabs right here they're going to be facing inward uh, for security purposes so uh, you know so your average person can't run up to the screen on the outside and grab it so they're on the inside um, most screens like this will have you see these kind of springs you know, they'll be on top or in the bottom. I guess this is an older style kind of screen. But uh, the ones that open on the outside, you're going to have to, uh, you know, pry it some way, either prying it in the, in the direction of the springs. So if the springs are on this side, you want to take this side, take this little applicator, put it in there, and push open. It's going to spring. It's going to be pushing it in, and then it's going to come out. Then you just grab it, put it to the side, do your thing, and then when you go put it in, you're going to slide this part in first, push it in a little bit, and it should just snap right in place. Now your second screen, the second screen you're going to encounter is going to be a security screen. Now, a security screen frame typically has um, uh, an like elongated piece of metal to, uh, let's say, Let's say uh, I'm in the exterior of the window. A uh, security frame is going to have an elongated piece of metal that covers this and the, the opposite side. So there's no way that this screen can come out from the outside. This screen has to be taken out from the inside. Uh, and that's to ensure that people, even with tools, can't pry this screen out from the outside. This has to be taken out from the inside which usually it's hassle because that means uh, you have to take twice as long taking screens out because you gotta run in the house run around all Mrs. Jones obstacles her couch and all this stuff just to take out these screens from the inside and it's a pain uh, usually usually when I take screens out from the inside I'll uh, you know flip them sideways and uh, I'll have the window open and I'll put them on the outside because I usually clean the screens right after uh, I do the exterior so, those uh, are the two most common screens, uh, and that's how to, uh, to handle those. Um, again, go try this, uh, this little painter's tool. I'm pretty sure some of you guys have some other tools that you might like, but give this a shot. This little prying tool works awesome. And, uh, yeah, so that's about, uh, that's about it for screens, and uh, I'm pretty sure 
some people have some comments uh, differently about how to get some screens out, but uh, those are just some quick steps. So, peace!